You've heard the Elgato Stream Deck, but have you heard of the Ghetto Stream Deck? Today I'm going to show you how to turn any spare keyboard into a Stream Deck. Whether it's a tiny wireless number pad, a full-size huge custom mechanical keyboard, hell you can even get those cheap foot pedals from AliExpress and make your own Stream Deck pedals. By the end of this video, you'll be able to change scenes in OBS, play sound effects, send messages in Twitch chat, toggle your studio lighting, mute your microphone, all from the keyboard you already have. And the kicker is that none of the keys on your spare keyboard will interfere with the keys on your main keyboard. So if you press F on your spare keyboard, people aren't gonna think that you're trying to pay respects. You might remember, I did a video on this exact topic years ago. In fact, that might be how you found me because that video did gangbusters. So I was like, damn, I need to remake that video and see if I can recreate the same success. In that video, I literally programmed my own tool called Noobs Commander just to accomplish this. But nowadays, I'm too busy shit posting on the internet. So I don't think I'm ever gonna update that program. This new method is so much better because Noobs Commander can only interact with OBS. With this method, you can interact with Twitch, YouTube, you can even post messages to Discord, anything that you want. Shout out to the sponsor of this video, VIP SCD Keys. If you just built your very own gaming PC, you can get a Windows 10 Pro license for as little as $16. You can use the link down below. Just use any secure payment method like PayPal. Use the code NUTTY at checkout to get 25% off. They'll send you an activation key right to your email and you can just pop that into your Windows settings and you're good to go. Those keys can even be upgraded to Windows 11 for free or if you just want to install Windows 11 straight off the bat, you can pay $22 and get a Windows 11 Pro license. I've been using VIP SCD keys for years, even before they started sponsoring my videos. Never had an issue with any of the keys, so if you want to save some money, well, there you go. First off, you're going to need a spare keyboard. No shit. It could be any keyboard. Don't worry if it has the same keys as your main keyboard, because like I said, the keys here will be recognized as a totally separate device compared to your main keyboard. Now you're gonna download two programs, and yes, both of these programs need to be running for this setup. The first is StreamerBot. Now, I've done plenty of tutorials on using StreamerBot, and if you've seen those videos before and you've just written it off because it looks too complicated, don't worry, I'm gonna make this as easy as possible for you guys. So just go over to the website streamer.bot and just download it. The second tool you'll need is HID Macros. And this is absolutely required for this to work because this is the tool that can recognize the difference between two separate keyboards. The idea is that we're going to use StreamerBot to create all of our commands. So that could be muting our microphone, changing scenes in OBS, posting messages to Twitch chat, then we're gonna use HID macros to run those commands from a second keyboard. So let's pop into StreamerBot first. So we're gonna go and download it from the website. It'll be linked down below. Just go ahead and unzip that wherever you want on your PC. And then we'll just open up StreamerBot by clicking streamer.bot.exe. If you already set up StreamerBot before, you can skip this section, but for everyone else, let me simplify this dog shit UI so it actually makes sense, okay? So all you really care about is this actions tab. You can pretty much ignore all of the other tabs. The actions tab is where you're going to set all the different commands that you want to run. Now, the first time you set up StreamerBot, we still need to connect it to OBS and Twitch. So we'll start with OBS, go over to the stream apps tab, go right click add and just give this a name OBS. Set your version to five and then we're gonna have to set our password. So if you go into OBS, go into tools and click on WebSocket server settings, you want to enable WebSocket server and then set a password. So click generate password. Uh, I'm just, I don't care if you see my password, okay? We're just gonna copy that. Go back into StreamerBot, paste your password, click auto connect and reconnect, press okay. And then right click and say connect. And it will say connected right here. If you did that correctly, then we'll be able to change scenes in OBS, toggle sources on and off, filters, all that kind of stuff. Next, we're gonna connect it to Twitch. Now, this is also gonna work with YouTube, 
but we're just gonna do Twitch today to keep it simple. So go over to platforms, click on the Twitch tab and go over to accounts. Then just click on a log in and a window will pop up uh, that will ask you to authorize. Just click authorize and then we'll say uh, logged in successfully, cool and you'll see your logo right here. So if you see that, then you're good. One more thing I forgot, you also need to go into the servers tab, into HTTP server, turn on auto start and click start server. You only need to do that the first time you set up StreamerBot. From here on out, you only really care about the actions tab. You can explore the other tabs as you get more familiar with StreamerBot, but for today, we only care about the actions tab. So now we can start making our commands. So. We'll start with something simple. Let's make a command that just changes to our just chatting scene. So we're gonna right click add and give it a name, just chatting, click okay. And then the right hand panel is where you set the things you want this command to do. So you can think of this like a gigantic stream deck multi-action. That's kind of how StreamerBot works. So right click, select OBS and we're gonna go scenes and you can't, Oh no, sorry, we'll select active scene. Yep, select active, active scene. So this will change scenes. And if you select the scene dropdown, this will list all the scenes I have in OBS. Yes, I have this many scenes. Just pretend that uh, it's a normal amount of scenes, okay? So this one is my just chatting scene. And if I click test, it should switch to my just chatting scene. And you can add as many actions as you want. So let's just say we want another action to change back to our gaming scene. So we just right click, add another action. We'll say gaming scene. What do we want this to do? Right click OBS, set active scene, and we'll select our gaming scene. Mine is called desktop and press okay. So now that we have the commands that we want to do, we need a way to actually do them. Otherwise this video is like useless. So this is where HID macros comes in. So we're gonna go to the HID macros website. You know that if a website uses Times New Roman, we're, we're dealing with some smart people shit, okay? So just click on uh, version 2.3 and then unzip this wherever you want. Now you can click on HID macros and uh, it should open up. It didn't. So. Uh, Let's put a cut here, Miss Editor, just cut, okay. Uh, we're gonna right click and say run as administrator. Okay, perfect, first try, time every try, time, you know, I'm not redoing that. I apologize, okay, this looks like some science engineering project hacking thing. I didn't make this, okay? I, my job is just to make this easy for you guys to understand. So let me break this down. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna add a new macro, okay? And we're gonna give this one the same name as uh, the action in StreamerBot, just so we know what it does. So we'll call it just chatting. Now, if you click on the scan button, you can input a key on your keyboard, okay? So I'm gonna press one. Now, it's gonna tell us what key we pressed here and it's gonna tell us the ID of the keyboard that is associated with that key. Because like I said, HID macros knows that a one is coming from this keyboard and not a one from our other keyboard. Now we just need to tell HID macros that when I press a one on this keyboard, I want to run the just chatting action that we made in StreamerBot. So we'll select run application, but what do we actually put in this box? This was the missing piece of the puzzle that prevented me from making this video for years. But thankfully, one of the moderators on the Discord server created this local script action handler, okay? So if we download the zip file and also follow the instructions, it says that we need to install Node.js. So just click on the link, follow that, and follow the instructions there. But after you've installed Node.js, you're gonna get this zip file. So go ahead and unzip this wherever you want. And inside this folder, you're gonna see a build.bat file. Double click on this, and then a window will pop up. Just click run anyway. And you should see this window. Guys, again, let me apologize. 
The UI just gets shitter and shitter as the video goes on, okay? But that is the price of free software. But it's really simple. It's gonna ask you to put in an action name. And what that's referring to is the name of the action or the command that you've put inside of StreamerBot. So we wanna run this just chatting to change to our just chatting scene. So we'll just type in just chatting and then it will ask you for a desired file name. Do not put a space in the file name here, okay? It won't work. Just, if you wanna see what happens, you can try it, it, just, it won't work, okay? But we're gonna put in just chatting, press enter, and it's going to create two files here, okay? Now, it's gonna have this just chatting.vbs. Whenever you run this VBS file, it doesn't matter how you run it, however you run this, we can just double click on it, it will run our streamer bot action. So if you can see where I'm going with this, now that we have this file that we can execute to change scenes, we can just go back into HID macros and navigate to that file inside here. So bat file actions handler and select all files and just select that VBS file. And now whenever I press the one on this keyboard, it's gonna switch scenes and it's not gonna be recognized as a one on our main keyboard. It's just, it's like it's its own button now. And we can just rinse and repeat that same process. So like, let's say when we press two, we wanna to switch to our gaming scene. We'll go to, over to HID macros. We'll add a new macro and we're gonna call it gaming. Yeah, let's just call it gaming. Okay, fine. Click scan, press two, and then we're gonna go over to build, click on build. It's gonna pull this window up. We're gonna name our scene. It's called gaming scene, press enter, and then call this gaming. And now go over to HID macros. We're gonna select run application and we're just gonna navigate to that gaming.vbs. So now if I press one, goes to just chatting, press two, goes back to our gaming scene. I'll do one more example that does a little bit more now. So we'll just add one more action and we're gonna call this one countdown. So this is going to do a three, two, one countdown in Twitch chat. So we can just right click, go over to Twitch chat and we'll do send message to channel. We'll say three, press okay. And then we can add delays. So we'll go to core, add a delay of one second, which is a thousand. And we'll just rinse and repeat. Okay, so make a duplicate and this will say two. Now we've got a three, two, one countdown. Next step, go over to HID macros. We'll create a new macro, call this one countdown and scan. We'll click the three on our keyboard and we're gonna run an application. Uh, we have to make the bat file. So go over to the build.bat, countdown, call it countdown and then just bind that to HID macros. So select countdown.vbs. So now if we go over to Twitch chat and just press three, it's gonna do our three, two, one countdown for us. So now you have access to everything that you could do in StreamerBot. So I just built a key on the five key that does these really wholesome sound effects. Literally make actions to do anything you want and it will never interfere with the keys on your main keyboard. And if you wanna take it a step further, you could like cut out little icons and like glue them onto the buttons if you want to know what the buttons do. But with that, you now have your very own ghetto stream deck. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Come follow me on Twitch. I talk about all this type of stuff three days a week. So you can ask me any question you want there. Uh, you can also join the Discord if you have any problems setting this up. And also make sure to join the Patreon. Uh, I've released a whole bunch of widgets for you guys to download. We recently just uh, released the Zelda Ocarina widget that you guys can download. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next week.